During the years of the coronavirus, there was a disconnect felt worldwide, as the community of Wellington City was starved of human interaction. A once active and lively community was brought to a standstill as the rest of the world stopped along with it. Even post-pandemic, the people have begun to settle for the new norm. The pandemic has accelerated the need to reconsider how we live and how we work in our day-to-day -day lives. The project was to challenge the new normal and reevaluate the community's priorities by proposing new ways to interact, communicate, and unify under common interests. The County of Hertfordshire has always been a place for experimenting with cities and the ways of living, giving me the freedom to reorganize the city and its functionality. The chosen site sits on an underutilized industrial roundabout sitting at the heart of Welling Garden City, adding a new organic element to the garden city and design choices that is reminiscent of the Aviva Stadium in Ireland and Madrid's Barajas International Airport in Spain. The fluidity of the design aims to make navigating the structure easy and quickly identifiable in the grander city context, acting as a landmark under Kevin Lynch's methodology. Through the use of pedestrian footbridges, the proposal can be used as a means to navigate the Mundle roundabout at any time of the day. The interior and exterior perimeter on the first floor act as a highway for commuters heading towards the city centre and train station, or families coming home from Sunday football or school. While still offering the ability to view the wider city context as well as the sporting activities happening on site, with the aim of encompassing the wider community and including the surrounding structures as a part of the design rather than individual entities, in creating a communal experience for the user in and around the site. The roof allows natural light to enter the structure at all times of the day thanks to a compression ring and complex truss structure that allow for the unique curvature and parametric characteristics of the design. Intended to look like a stadium where people associate large gatherings with, adding that deeper layer of connection with the community. Functionally, the proposal works similarly to the International Finance Centre in Hong Kong, a shopping mall that provides links with public transport as well as pedestrian footbridges over busy intersections, which acts as a threshold for deeper city connections. With the aim of my proposal to incorporate these elements to add more programming and reason for the community to come together under one roof. Local businesses can sell goods, family restaurants can cater events, and the pub can serve during football games. The sport programming adds a dynamic point of interaction to the proposal in and around site, allowing people to interact with sports wherever they are. Prioritizing the need to build on the community's love for sport that was suggested through wider city analysis, in the hopes of encouraging the community interaction and draw users towards the site. Another method of encouraging interaction was the implementation of a market area that has an interior and exterior relaxation area where local businesses can host stalls and cater events that could be displayed on large projectors. The statue on the plinth is intended to be the founding father of Wellingarn City, overlooking the most communal area of the proposal, with exterior thresholds purposefully blurred to make navigating the structure simplistic and not require a map. Overhangs were used as weather protection along expected pedestrian highways, which in turn add a constant moving component to the complex aesthetic of the design. Due to the low-lying topography of Wellington City, the proposal was designed to be integrated into the existing pathways and functionality, without dominating the unique characteristics of Wellington City and what makes it what it is. And by adding these grassy elevated elements not only help in directing circulation, provide new perspectives on the pitch and cover from rain or sun. These hills provide changing rooms, toilets, and first aid services that would be needed for exterior sports. And the overhangs provide a lighting system that would light up the pedestrian pathways at night. And that's my proposal for the Welling Garden City Sports Centre. Thank you for watching.